Dear friends in Dhamma, we are in Nistensa number 216, Dhammapada Piyavagga. Tanhaya Jayati Soko, Tanhaya Jayati Bayam, Tanhaya Vipamuttasa Natti Soko Kuto Bayam. From craving spring grief, from craving springs fear, for him who is wholly free from craving, there is no grief, much less fear. This stanza is very famous stanza. In this stanza, there are few words that we should pay attention to understand the meaning, the real meaning of this stanza. All these stanzas up to here, there are two words that we use, soka baya. The Pali words are soka baya. Soka means grief, suffering, lamentation. Baya means fear. These two words are explaining some kind of bad, unhappy situation that we are facing. We are facing in this world so-called grief, suffering. The Buddha said, Dukkhe loko patitito. We suffering a lot in this mundane life. This life is established on suffering. It is the nature, it is the universal nature. Whether you are born in here and they are rich or poor, it does not matter. We all are suffering. Why we have tanha, we have the thoughts craving, greed. We have thoughts of greed, thoughts of craving. So it is the reasons to be suffer, to be unhappy, to be unsatisfied. These are the roots, this is the nature. So according to Dhammachakka Pavattana Sutta, as you know, there are few reasons that explain how we are suffering. Jati pidukka, jara pidukka, vyadi pidukka, maranam pidukka. All these words that dukkha, also the reasons to have soka, soka, grief. Vyadi pidukka, jati pidukka. We born to this world that birth also cause for craving, cause for grief. We are, we are facing all these troubles, matters, and all these unhappy situations because of our birth. Because of our birth, if we did not get birth in this sansara, then there is no suffering. There is no grief, soko, lamentation, unhappy states are not there. Jati pidukkha, jara pidukkha, we are getting old, aging. It is also caused for suffering, unhappy state. But in here there is a particular word, tanna jayati soko. All these stages are facts are connected with the greed. Craving. That's why we are suffering. Otherwise, jati, the birth is not a reason to be unhappy, unsatisfied, but we are always living with tanha, greed, craving, then 
as a result of that attachment, craving, we are suffering. We are suffering. We suffer. Now you know the reasons why Jati Pidukka birth is suffering because we are connecting with greed, craving. Jarabi Dukkha, why aging is problem for us? We are connect to the thoughts that we have unsettled to create unhappy situation which we call Tanha is there, craving is there, greed, greediness is there. You like to associate friends, good friends, but we are not able to maintain that situation all, all our life. We have to depart from our uh, friends, family members, those are the like ones. We have to depart from them. That is also reasons to suffer. Why? It is also, there is also hidden thing is, there is hidden thing, greed, craving is there. Jati Pidukka, Jara Pidukka, Vyadi Pidukko. Sicknesses is the place, all the sickness, this body is the place for all sicknesses. So we are, we don't know when, how we get sick. But when we get sick, we are suffering. We suffer a lot. Why? We don't like. We don't like. No one likes to get sick. But it's happening. Why? Tana is there. Greed is there in our mind. If we are not with greed, then there is no reason to suffer. There were some Arahant beings who got sicknesses. As you know, Venerable Chakupala, he attained enlightenment. Right after his enlightenment, he became, he became blind. He did not suffer. But think about ourselves. If we are blind, we are suffering a lot. We are talking and talking and talking about that situation asking and going here in and they are searching some solution for that because we don't like that situation. Even myself, that's why I am wearing glasses. I don't like, I want to see everything perfectly. That's why I am wearing glasses. This is the situation. If there is some weaknesses, if we, when we are noticing some weaknesses, going to happen to our body, we ready to find a treatment for that. We ready to, we are asking some support, ex, ex, external support to increase our eyesight, increase our body strength, increase our uh, uh, health. We are skin supports from ex, external things and then taking vitamins and taking uh, other uh, supports, medical sub, uh, uh, nutrition. Why? We don't like get any sicknesses. Because we are living with craving. We are living with craving, so we have, we have attachment. For what? To, to healthy life. We don't like get any sicknesses. We want to maintain healthy life. Unhealthiness is kind of uh, unhappy things for us. Why we have attachment? How the attachment is arising in your mind because under the influence of craving, greed. Greed is one of main roots for all unwholesome stages. So when you have that grief, Craving, greed, it, it is a cause for suffering, grief, unhappy stages, lamentation. Not only that, tanhai jayati bhayam. 
when you are living with uh, greed or craving, it is a reason for fear. It is a reason for fear. Just think about ourselves. If we have something to protect, we are paying full attention to protect that. If you have a million dollars in your house, then you are thinking about that, oh, if there is someone coming, if they try to break my doors, come into inside to get this money, you're always thinking. Sometimes perhaps you might not be able to sleep whole night, you wake up. Why? Your mind is very busy to protect that money. Now you can see, fear is arising because of tanha, greed. It is very, very simple. Fear is arising because of tanha. So, when you are living with that thoughts, greedy thoughts, no one can stop grief and fear there. According to the dependent origination technique, when this is here, this would be. When tanha, greed is here, then suffering, unhappy stages, unsatisfactions, all these thoughts are here, as well as fear. This happening together. When this, see, when this, when this should be. When this ceasing, then you can cease this. When you are able to eliminate your greed, craving, then you can eliminate your suffering stages. You can eliminate your fear. You don't have fear. So, tanhaya vipamuttasa. When someone wholly free from craving, free from craving, no more craving, no more greed, there is no grief. There is no grief. No fear. Why? You already eliminate the cause. You already defeated from your mind that unhappy stages, unhappy situations. You completely sweep up that unhappy situation, the roots. Then you don't have fear, you don't have grief. Now you can see what is the reasons for grief, what is the reasons for fear. Wherever we have grief, there would be unhappy stage of fear. All these two situations are creation of greed. Why we have fear? because of grief, because of craving. Why we have grief? Because of greed or craving. Now you know, when you are living with the craving or grief, then we are subject to suffer a lot and also to gain peace, subject to gain peace gain fear, it's happening. Tanha or craving is arising in our mind 108 ways. According to the Abhidharma explanation, Tanha is arising in our mind 108 ways. It is very, very subtle ways. Think about in yourself. You have attachment to your son or daughter. You have attachment to your brother and sister. You have attachment to your mother and father. You have attachment to your grandparents. You have attachment to your friends. 
family members pets all these attachments come through craving greed so all these attachments are different from other one different to each and other one situation is different to other situation this the nature so anyway at the end we can come to conclusion whenever you have greed or craving it's subject to suffering and to gain fear this is this is a established law not by the buddha the nature the buddha said whether would they appear in this world or not this established law would be here that would be here no one can change it no one can uh, find the solution without uh, eliminating their unwholesome roots from their mind is universal nature so living as a mundane person if you are living with greed craving then you have suffer you are you have to suffer there is no excuse for that how much you can develop your mind that much you can reduce your unhappy stages your fear how much fear you have that much uh, greed you have so these two things craving and grief craving and fear working together these unhappy stages are working together defilements are working together so we are practicing buddhism to go against work against these roots greed is one of main roots that we are trying to eliminate practicing the teachings of the buddha whether you believe it or not it doesn't matter we we have to pay for this we have to live under this condition because it is belongs to universal law it is universal law tanhay jayati soko tanhay jayati bayan tanhay vipamuttasnati soko bayan want to live without uh, grief and fear then you have to eliminate greed and greed or craving eliminating greed and craving is the path for happiness it is the liberation it is the liberation the buddha delivered this stanza one of brahmin who lived in savatthi and he was a follower of another religion but buddha knew that the brahmin would attain the first stage of sainthood sotapanna very near future because he had fulfilled all requirements so one day the enlightened one the buddha went to the place where the brahmin was plowing to his field seeing the buddha the brahmin became very friendly to the buddha and he started a very friendly conversation with the buddha somehow he was very happy seeing the buddha and having some talk with the buddha he was very happy and he was very pleased to the buddha then he promised to the buddha venerable sir now i am plowing the my field when i get when i able to harvest my uh rice from the field my cow 
I will offer you the best portion. He promised to himself, Buddha did not ask about that, but he was very happy to see the Buddha and he was very happy to talk to Buddha. And then he himself promised in himself and then the invite to the Buddha. When I harvest in my farm, all these rice and all the other cultivation, I like to offer the best person to the Buddha. But at that moment, Buddha knew the situation, how would be the future? Uh, what is going to happen there? He did not say anything, but he was very quiet at that moment. Somehow, two months later, there was heavy rain and they got flood. His fatty field was destroyed by that uh, flood. He was so upset. He was crying and lamenting. The Buddha appeared in front of him again. This is the time. Then Buddha said, Brahman, sorrow and fear will never arise if there is no craving. If there is no craving. That Brahman was suffering a lot. He was crying. Then the Buddha said, uh, sorrow and fear will never arise in your mind if there is no craving. That is the word that Buddha used there and delivered this stanza there. So delivering this stanza, Buddha was able to help that uh, Pama, Brahma, to realize the truth. Because of this stanza, he was able to see the, the reality. He attained Sotapanna. First level of sainthood. Stream enter. He became a stream enter. Sota Panna. What he realized, he realized sorrow and fear will never arise if there is no craving. So he realized craving is, a, is the reason to sorrow and fear to have sorrow and fear. So realizing that, he was able to attain enlightenment, the first level, Sotapan. So, dear friends, now we have to think about our practice. We have to power up our practice because we are searching happiness. Each and every moment, we are searching comfort for our life. We are searching happy situation, happy moments. We do so many things to increase our happiness. Happiness is the goal for our life. That goal is not just one particular group of people. That goal is goal for all living beings to increase their happiness, to decrease their unhappy stages. We are working for that. We go to so many places to do so many things, picnic, hiking, and competi participate competitions. Why all these situations we are, we are trying to use all these events, life events, to gain happiness, to decrease our unhappy stages. But if you do these things with the blind mind, then you, there is no way to reduce your craving. 
you are increasing your craving. So you can't get, gain your happiness. Then what we should do, we should pay full attention to decrease our craving, then we don't need to worry about uh, our suffering stages, grief are disappearing from our mind as well as fear. When you able to reduce your craving. So we have to, if you want to be happy, if you want to increase and establish our happiness, then what we should do, we should work, we, we should uh, work against our greed, craving. We have to work to reduce our greed. That is our responsibility. That, that should be our main goal. So this is the way how we should establish uh, our happiness. Working against greed or craving and reducing and eliminating. One day when you're able to eliminate all these craving and greed, that would be the time to that we can establish our happiness. So having that knowledge, having that uh, thoughts in our mind, strength our power to practice, to gain our wisdom. So that would be enough for today. Uh, we can use this opportunity to share merits with others. First of all, think about our departed relatives, friends and family members, as well as, well as other uh, pets. By the power of these merits and metta thoughts, may they all be well, happy and peaceful. May they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain. Having that aspiration, share merits with departed ones saying, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu who are affected by COVID-19 and any other sicknesses, by the power of these merits and metta thoughts, may they all be well, happy and peaceful. May they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain, having that aspiration, make blessings upon them, saying, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. May you all be well, happy and peaceful. All your wishes come true by the power of these merits and metta thoughts. May we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. By means of this meritorious deeds, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much.